Hi guys, in the previous video, uh, which was for a transform of a rectangular pulse, uh, we saw how to write the MATLAB code to get the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse. In this video, uh, we will see how to write the MATLAB code to get the Fourier transform of a sync function. As we have discussed in the previous video, uh, the Fourier transform of a sync function uh, is actually a rectangular pulse. Fourier transform of transform of sync function CLC clear all close all uh, the thing is if you want to know more on sync function just go to command window type help S I N C. So you get more details if you want to know more about sync function, but we'll write it here. Uh, here we have to write read only one parameter. Unlike in the rectangular pulse, we were, we used to read two parameter. One was width and the other one was duration. Here we just have to read the width. I mean duration. Time is varying from where to where. We'll take it in T is equal to input enter enter duration of sync function, sync function. Uh, we'll take it in smaller x since it is in time domain s i n c of t we'll have a plot of this figure of 1 subplot two figures so I'll, I'll write two rows one column first figure plot t comma x we'll check it for a transform of sync function so duration I'll stop from minus 10 better to have more duration with a resolution of 0 0.01 up to plus 10 ok fine so this is how we get sync function in the MATLAB so let's normalize to 1 uh, we will take the Fourier transform of it and we will see whether we get rectangular pulse so capital X is equal to FFT of small letter X and we will plot it subplot two rows one column in the second figure plot we we'll have it in t comma uh, fft shift of absolute value of capital x we run it yeah fine so we are getting actually uh, the rectangular pulse uh, as we discussed previously uh, if the width of this decreases uh, then the width of this rectangular pulse will increase so we will decrease it and see to decrease or increase you have to scale it scale the independent variable t uh, I want to decrease so I give 5 times t so we will check it same value yeah fine. now the width here width of sync function decreases whereas the width of the rectangular pulse is increasing uh, this is the MATLAB code to get the trans Fourier transform of a sync function thank you